The Pacific Northwest Watershed Floor Map is a mobile learning tool for students. Our educators take this map to local area schools and what's great about it is it can be used indoors or outdoors uh, for learning. When it's all unfolded, it becomes a larger than life map at 16 by 20 feet. When you open this up, kids just get the wow factor and they really are excited about learning about watersheds when they get to see a lesson like this. Audra Brown is the environmental educator with the Lower Columbia Estuary Partnership. Well, it's been months in the making for our education team and uh, we got the idea actually from Portland State University. She says it's designed to teach kids about the environment and what they can do to keep our waterways clean and pristine. One of the things we really want students to learn about is how pollution enters our waterways, but more importantly, how we can work together to keep waters cool, clean, and clear. The map has rivers from all over our area. The biggest thing students learn how pollutants can impact our rivers. Each of these different puff balls equals, uh, represents a different kind of pollution that we see uh, in our waterways. You have you know, motor oil, uh, herbicides and pesticides. And how the habitat can be impacted too. Kids are able to put it over around on different places in the map and see how um, you know, pollution on the Salmon River travels down to you know, where they live along the Columbia River. Audra hopes this project inspires students. Changing our everyday behaviors uh, in the ways that water run off into our rivers is really what we're hoping students um, learn from this. To work together and keep our local waterways clean. Ashley, the Lower Columbia Estuary Partnership has already started a pilot program earlier this year. They teamed up with an elementary school in Scappoos, and uh, organizers tell me they're hoping to expand the program later this year. What a great program, Joe. Actually, do you know how many schools that they plan on working with later this year? Well, after spring break, they're expected to kind of expand this program. Their goal is to go to more than 20 schools throughout the Portland, Vancouver area uh, between um, end of this month and the end of the school year. Reporting live in Southwest Portland, Joe Ranieri, KGW News.